Yo! Hey, hey! We're here. We might be drunk. Welcome. How are you? We got Natasha Legero here, one of our favorites. Good to have you. Very happy to have you. Thank you guys for having me. Thanks for coming in from L.A. Yeah, uh... Man, it's it's really hard to get around here. It's really? A nightmare. Are you one of those LA people that hates coming? I lived here, and it's just bringing back memories of just pounding the pavement, crying. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that was me for like five years in New York. That's most of it in the beginning. And, and then I sat at a sad sandwich shop and just ate an egg salad sandwich because it was like snow raining, and you guys were like right across the street. So you know, I was like waiting for an hour. <laughs> Is it raining? <laughs> It's like snow. Oh, rain. I thought that was part of the sad oh, New York oh. story. That was just now. <laughs> that was just now. Holy shit! Oh. That's what I was saying. It was like bringing back memories, oh, yeah. and then then I was like, "This happens to me too now." Like I sat down because you don't sit down by yourself in public in no. in L.A. You know, and I sit down, and then this like old man was sitting at this like communal table across from me. It was and- Al Franken. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't Al Franken, but the guy did smile at me. This is starting happening to me where I'm like. Do you think that this would ever happen? Uh, like men in their 60s. I don't know what kind of vibe I'm giving off. Well, but... you probably thought you were a Disney princess. I think <laughs> with the, uh, the outfit, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, you Thank know. Thank you, Mark. No, but you, you look know, great. Fashion comes naturally to you. So. Yeah. <laughs> I got an 11-year-old skateboarder. Come on. <laughs> This is like every male comic. I know. See, at least Sam's wearing like a nice adult shirt over it. He's got a nice jacket going. Thank you, yeah. I had to bring him with Natasha. Natasha, I should have brought it. I I was on a date last week when Natasha texted me to come on, and literally 10 minutes before she texted me, this girl goes, you know who my favorite comedian is? No, that was- Natasha Leggero. Stop. Oh, come on. She said Michelle Wolf. (laughs) You must have gotten some action after like showing her the text. Not as much as I should have for showing that text. I feel like that should have gotten me more. He just got pegged. Yeah. That was it. Fuck me in the butt, but- (laughs) That was after I showed her, yeah. But yeah, uh, I opened for you a year. Do you remember that at Caroline's? You know, people say this to me, Uh-oh. and I really have a bad memory, Mark. All right, it was, I was not a member. I was a new comic. Was, I was I nice to you at least? You were so nice, okay, good. and Todd Berry was a dick, and you <laughs> stood up for me, <laughs> and I have never forgot it, and I appreciate Wait, it. Wait, Todd was a dick to you? Well, I, I look, I was so green and hey, you're, annoying. You're, you're and, doing the guest spot, Mark. Yeah, yeah. Still in the light. Todd was running Todd a letterman. Barry. This is how long ago this was. Todd was running a letterman, so you were like, yeah, sure, come do five. I'm at Caroline's. And I was hosting, and I was, you know, excited and annoying, and uh, you guys went out after. And I was like, oh, where are we going? And Todd's like, not you. <laughs> and he said that? Something like that. I mean, he was half joking, but half todding. And, <laughs> and you were like, no, no, don't worry, you can come. And you, you said it like off to the side when he couldn't hear. You're like, it's, you come, you come. And I the whole time I was like, I didn't say a word because you guys were Did talking. Did you come? I, I weirdly showed up and just hung out to the side, and we went to some hotel bar, and you guys talked about show business. That and I was is like, brave, Mark. If someone told me to not come, that's I like that. Yeah. Well, it was probably Actually, a bad usually idea. when a woman tells me not to come, I come instantly. So, uh, <laughs> so did I. Yeah, yeah I still came. <laughs> well, but I'm glad that we you. hung out with you, and I'm I'm sorry that you came I know. to the I, side. It was fun. I mean, it, you know when you're so new and so green, you're just like watching people who are successful was thrilling and now you're so successful well i don't know but he still dresses like this (laughs) and and todd's still a dick to me (laughs) i saw him last night oh good tell him i said hi i will all right Uh, i mean todd is so funny though oh we love todd let's just let him act how he wants if you haven't yes i was a fan he has so many albums that are just like lights out i used to listen to him when i started in new orleans i was a huge fan but but what are we drinking there beer jew well who's the time i Pick the drinks for you guys, but this time you get to choose your own kind of, and we'll figure out. Wait, it's a taste test. Wait, am I? Oh, this is three different test. wines. Three different <gasps> Sauvignon Blancs at three oh different God. price points. I, I don't even splurge for this at the restaurants. Thank you. So, this is like the flight. <laughs> right, you know? right. Exactly. And whichever you like best, you get a full glass of, or many more if you oh, like. Oh, lovely! And we got the what is that? A charcuterie? What do you call that? Cheese plate? Yeah, That's the, 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 the sh- word. What, I think the kids call it charcuterie board now. Charcuterie. I don't know. I think I um, dated her This is her amazing. Harlem. All right. I did this at my wedding because I, I really wanted to buy expensive wine, and Moshe was like, there is a wine shop, shop up the street called Trader Joe's. And I'm like, <laughs> I am not giving my guest Trader Joe's wine. Right. And so I made this huge deal out of it, and then my wedding planners came, and we did a taste test, and we all picked the Trader Joe's. Wow. It was Holy so shit. human. And 
the worst part of the story. I still bought the expensive wine because I don't want my friends. Like I bought like half expensive wine because right. I was like, I don't want my friends to see like we're pouring Trader Joe's, yeah. you know, Trader Giotto. Uh, yeah, it always has some Merlot. name. Trader Giotto. <laughs> Trader Jose or something. Why do you mention Trader Joe's? I'm kidding. Oh, is there uh, a Trader Joe's? No, no, no. no, but they are three different, massively different prices. Maybe points, we should so. all do the same one at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Are they in the right order? Well, they have numbers on them. They right? have numbers on them. Oh, they do. Just choose which one you oh, like. I'm an idiot. I'm starting right, start with three. With... Oh, jeez. All right. You can start with whichever you like. Okay. And are these all Sauvignon? They're all Sauvignons. Sauvignon Blanc. Blanc. This was Natasha requested Sauvignon Blanc. Well, you said, what is your cocktail? And I don't really drink cocktails. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I always pegged you for like a martini. If I drink a martini, I would definitely vomit. She's five foot one. Martinis okay. are so strong. They yeah, are. they are. And but those glasses delicious. are not fun to hold. No, they, they hate the glass. <laughs> this no. is pretty good. A little oaky. What are we starting with? That's one? That's three. three. Okay. Wine has just started to taste like water to me. That's bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> so they always the say, it's like, why flint. is it so hard to drink a whole bottle of water, but so easy to drink a bottle of wine? It's a good uh, <laughs> well said. Um, this is good. I like it. And I'm not a wine guy. You're That's not a wine good. guy? Nah. I'm not a I'm not a white wine guy. I'll do, I like a red better. No, red is Especially obviously better. It just gives me headaches, so I can't drink oh, it. Oh yeah, it'll kill you in the morning. Okay, number so two. Number two. Number two. Ooh. We're going for okay. Ooh. A little fuller. A little nutty. This one tastes more like um. Like my ex. <laughs> I think I like the, the the third one better than the second. Okay. Yeah, I think what do you so guys too. Think? I'm following your guys' this lead. This tastes a little bit like um. I'm ignorant. Uh, I don't know, like like raw alcohol. Like they put like a splash of mm, vodka in it or something. Interesting. I, I feel that, yeah. It does spill a bunch of vodka oil. <laughs> Besides that. All right. It's definitely got like a kick. I like the aftertaste. It's, yeah. a little, it's got a sting to it. Yeah. Okay, number one. I feel like these are all kind of like flat, simple, dry. Something. Like I, maybe we didn't give you guys the best. Flat, simple, and dry. They're, 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 <laughs> they're, not, they're, not, they're nothing exotic. Don't okay. worry. Okay. Mmm. Much different, right? That's dry. This number one. That's right? what dry yeah. is. When I think people that's say dry, dry, yeah, I'm learning. I think okay, three is the best. I agree. I like. I'm a three person. I would say three as well, and I'm so we're all going for three. What? But what is oh, it? Oh, it's Trader Joe's. I'm gonna <laughs> shit blood. All right. So for Don't the big reveal, time. okay, I'm wearing a diaper. Uh, let's go with uh, the least favorite was number two, correct? Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys have some levels of taste. That yeah. is the cheapest one. That's- hey! <laughs> look at pick, us. Pick the cheapest one. That's All right. Cupcake. Don't ever buy it's cupcake, you guys. Cup- uh. Cupcake vineyards. <laughs> it's like a budget, you know, wine. They have they have uh, Pinot Grigio, Sauvignon, everything you need. It's the thing you, you grab at the Seven Eleven when you're going to a party that you like. You hope that no one sees what you drop. <laughs> right. Because like right. that is not. Everyone knows cupcake Effectively, is like six. Yes. Yes, it's like a twelve dollar bottle. Twelve. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, $12. and then Jesus. our favorite was number two. But no, number one. Number one. Number oh no, 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 no. Three. 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 three rather. So three was gas station. Piss. Strangely <laughs> enough. <laughs> strangely enough, you guys picked the middle best as okay. your best, which well, is Kim Crawford. I Sellers. drink this all the time, and also. Restaurants do not serve cupcake, but they right. do serve Kim Croft. Okay. Actually, so my it, restaurant serves Kim Croft. Yeah, yeah. Re- yeah, a lot. This is a very popular house Sauv Blanc. Because Got it's it. good mid tier, and it'll get you there. And yeah. it'll, it's nice to pair with like uh, with any kind of like like light meal. Mm-hmm. No, How much is the Kim whatever. Crawford? Kim Crawford is about twenty five bucks. Ooh, 20, that's 20, reasonable. Twenty five, twenty six. It's reasonable. not too bad. Right, and then now, obviously uh, the uh, higher tier was cake bread sellers at forty five. That was number I want one. That one instead. And that was and that I was when, when you guys bread. said like the oh that's dry that's dry that's like when you feel like that that extreme dryness when it's just been completely like barrel aged for like a good amount mm. for as long as a white wine should be. Mm-hmm. Get that. Wow. I seriously would rather have the expensive one. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's drink I the no one. Doubt. <laughs> I like well, the Kim Croft. You but... like the Kim, well, I, I drink Kim Crawford all the time. Yeah, let's do so the good that's one. why. Let's do it. Maybe it'll be lesser of a hangover, too, right? It, this is the mental part of me. I'm tasting the, Thank you. the second one we liked. And it tastes better now Me that I too. know it's the good one. Isn't that fucked we're up trash. how the mind works? Yeah, we're really trash. What is that, cake bread? Oh, no, that's me. There you go. Americans are just trash. We really they are. are. We really that? are. It just sucks. I would think of that Richard Jenny joke, how the French have the croissant, and, and here in America, we go, uh, we made a croissant sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> so true. That's what we did. 
Even I Canada know. is better. I went to Vancouver and it's even more, it's, it's even a little more refined there. Did you guys know that in other countries they have like full maternity leave they oh like, yeah in finland they give you a box with full of like um a box the box is for your baby to sleep in and then they give you like all of this like baby supplies anything you would need you get like 400 days off right like, for the year that you can use whenever you want you know it's like america we're just like do your thing you know like know. Fend for your, don't get an abortion right uh, i'm not gonna help you with any of this yeah, yeah. but uh, that's just my biological father talking to my mom by the way <laughs> That's a... <laughs> Wait, so your dad's not a lawyer? That's your stepdad? No, yeah, it's my, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Comics, you know, we all have a story. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's good, the most polite way. It's a bumper sticker. To be we like, story. ew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true, though. I mean, that was what really uh, attracted me to comedians. In... You've dated some comics. But not even, yes, dated. I, I always date comedians, but also, like, just when I first got to New York or I think it went up from New York I got to LA and I would start going to auditions and the actors were so annoying Ugh, the worst. and I'd be in a green room with the actors and they were just like all competitive and bragging and boring and then all of a sudden you go to an improv audition and like everybody's funny and yes. I mean they're still like vain assholes but you know at least they're like funny they're giving back yeah you know? totally and so i just always wanted to hang out with comedians but then you start talking to them it's like oh you got stabbed when you were little oh yeah you, yeah some you know someone accosted you in an alley oh your brother died right oh, you know it's like always something like there's always an happening. inciting we all have something that fucks us up but like there's something about actors having to hide in other roles that like, makes me feel mm -hmm. like they don't work on it as much comedians we have to live with like ourselves we have to like be in our head for like who we are on stage mm -hmm. so i do feel like on some level we work a little more on it than actors oh yeah oh for sure we work on ourselves ourselves oh we have more to. than actors well, you have to that's address a good your, point you have to address the shit right they're just like sometimes do you ever look at someone who's like a really good actor and like they just looks like it looks like there's nothing there. they're vapid <laughs> Vessel. yeah the best actors have like nothing to say because they just like become something else yeah, yeah, that's what they do. They're the ship shape shifters. Yeah, you know they're not real. They're chameleons. They say you can always tell an actor from the glazed look in their eye whenever someone else is talking. Ooh, but maybe that's comedians too. Yeah. Well, that's when you meet a comedian's uh, significant other. You're like, oh yeah, yeah. Nice to meet <laughs> that, yeah. Let, me, let me get back to this. Unless guy they're I'm a comedian. With. Yeah, no, that helps. Know. That helps. Moshe's fucking awesome. Yeah, Moshe's, Moshe's hilarious. hilarious. Yeah. Your wife? What? Let me guess. Did you marry a chef, a nanny? Uh, Keep going. Dominatrix. <laughs> that was yours. Uh, let me think. Nurse. I'm trying to think no. of what male comics like. Nurse is very giving, right? <laughs> yeah. Nurse is very giving. Patient. Um. Okay. Let me see. Uh. Gosh. I don't I even know what, out of what the job title is. It's like you know, it's like a real officey job. He hasn't asked her what she does yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> but you just got married. That's oh wait. So what does she do? She well, works she's, in HR. She works in uh, marketing, okay. but also a comedian. Oh, she's a comedian. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, you're good. Yeah, I'm good. We I mean, we, we gel. That's good. Yeah, because yeah. I think it's really important to have a someone who at least understands the lifestyle. Totally. Like, you're just like on a whim going to be like, I'm gone Wednesday. I'm gone Thursday. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be, I'm, go, I'm staying out till 11, you know? It's yep. like, I remember some girl when I was coming up, this like beautiful model and she was doing comedy and she was always getting in these like passionate fights with her older husband who was like, <laughs> you can't go out, you can't go out tonight. And she's yeah. like, I need to go out to, you know? And it was like, they were always fighting. Oh yeah. And you don't want that. And a lot of people will be into comedy and the dating you know the, that kind of world and they're like oh i love that you're a comedian and then when you start getting serious they're like come on stop that now and you're like no i'm, I'm the same guy but once you get serious there's some kind of cutoff i had that with a girl recently where she was like it's the weekend we should be hanging out and i was like i have work what do you mean and i work like, at night and she's like what's well, important to me for and i was like let's just not do this then let's just sam yeah. you give up that fast yes yeah, i gave up <laughs> i was like i'm out well, I mean, it's your job. It's yeah. your livelihood. You don't it's your me on passion. Date three, then yeah, I'm fucking out. It's really important to me that we spend weekends together. <laughs> yeah, that's a nail in the coffin right yeah. there. Kiss of death. Kiss you know, death. Moshe's been going away. Like he's away performing all the time. But last week he went to some post Burning Man party nah. in Reno Unacceptable. for three days. That's divorce. <laughs> I mean, I was like, I kept asking him. I was so confused by it. I'm like, Are you sure you want to go to this? I go, This is, doesn't seem like this. Just seems that sounds like, like work. Well, it also seems like something you do, like, if you're, like, single. It's, like, in a hotel. Mm. I, I don't know. And I'm like, you really would rather do that than hang out with your cute family? Right. But then he explained to me the other night, he was like, you know, I want to just sit home and watch The Vow with you. But, like, I start to feel like <laughs> if I don't 
make uh-huh. an effort to do things like life slips by and I like for him to feel alive he needs to be that like social. That makes sense cuz it's real easy for us to just slip into that cocoon as comedians to just stay Burning home and Man watch it. So bad though. This isn't even Burning Man though. This is like a post Burning Man like uh, uh, in Tahoe or And he's know. sober, right? He's yeah, so he's doing the oh, sober. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what the oh, hell? Man, that's a lot of Molly talking. <laughs> yeah, I went to Burning Man 3 times. It was pretty rough. Whoa. Whoa. Three times? Let's hear it. You know, before the pandemic, I think I was just more game. Yeah, I could see that. You know, I was just kind of like, oh, it's cute. That's oh, true. Now I'm just kind of like, no, no. Right. No, that's not happening. Yeah. Well, you, you try to be adventurous, then you go, and right when you get there, you're like, what was I thinking? This is a fucking nightmare. And Moshe wanted to go so bad this year, He want, or he wanted to take our kid. He went with year. friends, or what did he do? He, go, he has like a whole group. He used to work there. So he has like a mm. whole group that he goes with, and he really wanted to take our kid. And I said, listen, if you don't take our kid, how about you, how about, <laughs> I go, how about we do the thing that you asked me before we got married? And because he, he came to me when, before I got married, he's like, what if I just, we can open up the relationship just at Burning Man? And I was like, no. Whoa. Wait, what? That was his pitch because he had never been in a relationship before. Ah. Oh, he was kind of a player. He was a player, but also like didn't have much experience, so he didn't know that like that's not okay. And I was so then this past year, I said, you know what? Wait, how so about- he can only fuck around at this festival? No, but we said no. Uh, yeah, but then I'm this, guessing, that yeah. was his that was his pitch, but it just he doesn't think things through because like <laughs> then what? He goes to like Reno or he goes to Louisiana wherever he's doing stand up, and then you know Raleigh. Right. And then how do we know that he's not going to like exactly. do it there? You know, so at but also base- you just want a monogamous relationship, husband. Right? I would prefer that just because <laughs> it makes it. He's like, all right, no to Burning Man, but Coachella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I get that it's like a fantasy to be able to open up your relationship, but for a woman, for a mom, I mean, imagine like this, like you know, a lactating mom, you know, sidling up to the bar trying to like talk to men like it's just not fair to for a woman like open relationships are definitely it's i think it's more challenging for the mother (laughs) of course especially in that state so then i told no though i think i think i think women have a easier well it's easier to get laid as a lady but but not if you're a mom or you're like i'm not breastfeeding anymore i don't know if you heard of this porn category milf Does pretty well very popular very popular you're on depending which bar you know (laughs) yeah well, anyway, the point the point is I told him if you how about you can go do whatever you want at Burning Man but in exchange you don't take our child there. Wow, that's and a great deal. I <laughs> Wait, wait, so he is allowed to do that or no? Well, then I like, so I told him this and I think he was like, uh huh, okay. He didn't know if I was kidding or not kidding, you know, and so then I told my therapist about it and she was like When's he leaving? And I was like, in two days. She's like, you should probably get confirmation. Like what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I came to him with it. And he was like, oh, I thought you were kidding. I would never want to mess up our family. So that was really Oh, nice. wow. That's so kind of, Mark's confused. I'm so confused. <laughs> this is strange. He, he, de- he deletes Tinder. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, no, I got that was a joke. What are you talking about? I mean, this is probably one of your first big relationships, right? That you just got married? No, no. no? I was in a 12 year before you this. You were? Yeah, I yeah. did not see that. 12 years a slave. They made a movie about it. Yeah. <laughs> You yeah. were really? I I'm, I was a relationship guy, and then I got out for a couple of years and just, you know, went nuts and then got back in. Oh, with a different person. Yes, okay. yes, yes, a man. <laughs> no, yeah, but no, a different you, person. You were a beautiful uh, child. Did you see her? Uh, yeah, when I was at your oh, place. Pull her so up. Cute. <laughs> don't pull her up. All and, right, don't, and, uh, you can pull up any baby. I'd believe it. <laughs> I mean, maybe, you know, Mark's married now. Do you have any advice if he wants yes. to maybe have a kid? Because you have this new book out. Uh, my book, The World Deserves My Children. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my child. Uh, he's, be- he's beautiful. Thank you. Um, I mean, are, so you want to have a baby? Eventually, yeah. How old is your? Thirty-one. Wife? Okay, so my advice is by thirty-eight, she should freeze her eggs. Oh, really? And that's the cutoff. And then she's a, she's an aspiring comedian or up and coming comedian, yep, yep. you know. So I'm assuming. That she wants to keep working on her career. I mean, thirty yep. to forty; those are your peak money making. You years. got that right. Those are your peak fun years. Yeah. Those are your peak, um, you know, development years. So it's sure. like having well, a baby developed. and then, 
<laughs> and then being in uh, survival mode, you know, in your in the, your right. whole 30s and 40s. Yeah. So, and I had my baby at 43. So wow. this this egg technology is is really cool. It's amazing. It's 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 giving women like a a new lease time. on life. Yeah, of course. The, the the it's giving us what men have always had. Right. The ability to yeah. start a family, second family in their 70s or whatever you guys want to do. <laughs> I think Mick Jagger just had a kid at like 91. That's a little much. Yeah, come on, Mick. What are yeah. you doing? That it's, is it's, pretty crazy. Well, he's got this Burning Man ultimatum thing going on. It's pretty good. I didn't explain that very well, but I, you know. Uh, I only fuck around to women at the fire Festival. Yeah. So I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't... <laughs> But yeah, so I, I think Moshe didn't quite get that like you, a relationship is monogamous, I guess, for a reason, right? Well, it's a different time too. You know, things are all wacky now and fluid. You never know. I didn't. I didn't know Moshe was like that. He seems like such a adult. You know, he does. Yeah, he, <laughs> to me, he does. But you're married to him. He hmm. seems like kind of a wise guy. He does have wisdom. I saw him. I saw him at the Improv last time I was in L.A. and I did this bit about a terrible hookup story. And he kind of like he was like talking to me after the uh, set. And he was like, "Is that a true story?" And I said, "Yeah." He's like, "Never go to bed with someone you wouldn't have lunch with." And I was like. <laughs> Wait, what? That's pretty good. Well, that would mean my number would be cut in half. That's yeah. insane. No, I know, but I was like, that's like an adult thing to say. I never thought about it like that. Yeah. Well, he does have wisdom, and we have a podcast, the Endless Honeymoon Podcast. And I've done it. It's a great podcast. And uh, yes, and I don't remember who called when you when you called, but like, there's all these. She DM'd me. She. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> what was her question? I can't believe. I don't she remember. DM'd but she, I think you. she had like a breakup, and uh, we were like helping her through it or something. She was hot. But would just... you have lunch with her? <laughs> is the question. How do you find that out if you'd have lunch with someone though? You can you can get a vibe. I think. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'm sorry that one of our callers DM'd you. No, That's no, very no. inappropriate. Oh, thank you. He liked it. But all these 20-year-olds and even 30-year-olds, I feel like they don't have a lot of guidance and nobody really knows what to do, And especially since COVID. And, you know, everyone wants to be dating. They don't, they're don't. they sick of online dating. Right. No one's going out. It's like, what do you do? It's tough now. I, I don't uh, I don't envy you as a single man these days. That's all right. He's he's killing I'm every a... night on stage in New York. I bet he like... <laughs> Downs. Do you do that thing that got that male comics do where you hang out by the bathrooms I after can't you set? Anymore. Bathroom? No. Is that the move now? That's where all the girls go. You know, they go to the bathroom oh, and then no. you can be they can be like, oh, you are so funny. Oh, no. that's interesting. I, oh, did, I did that in my twenties. I don't do you that. You did that? You fucking. Did I never that. did the bathroom yeah, move. Did. Not the bathroom, but like by the <laughs> bar. Oh, I just sit there with a roll of toilet paper. Hey, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> you go one or two. You definitely hung out by the bar after. Shows. I did the bar, Me but the too, bathroom yeah. I never even well, thought about. That's the comedy store specifically. I see. The bathrooms right where the male women. Oh, yeah, away, in that always, hallway. They're always in the hallway with their Good arms point. crossed. Good and point. It's so funny because, like, the idea that I would get off stage and want to talk to some guy going to the bathroom, <laughs> like, That's, waiting in line for the bathroom, yeah. that would never happen. The road is Especially in L.A., they're going to go in vomit. That sense, Sorry. for sure. In, in other ways, too. But for, for sure, the... Uh, a hookup by the way I don't like hooking up on the road either anymore I'm getting older it's not fun anymore because I'm like I'm fucking exhausted usually I'm on the road every week downtime is it like the waitresses usually or no, is it the no, customers no. almost never a that's waitress. a bad idea yeah because you gotta be there the next night I, I, I opened for a comedian I can't say who it was but he Carrot would top. come out <laughs> look in the aisle of the, of the see who was hot and then he would go tell <laughs> the waitress, get them chicken nachos uh -huh. on me. And then he would get them, like, the hot girl's chicken nachos. I want to fuck the woman who's bloated after the show. Yeah. <laughs> You're busted, Todd Berry. <laughs> <laughs> that is so get her some Todd jalapeno Todd. poppers, too. Yeah. <laughs> and then he would invite them backstage afterwards and just kind of, you know, let them figure wow. out who it was going to be. <laughs> I don't have that kind of confidence. So I'd be like, get her the chicken nachos. And then after, I'd be like, where is she? Oh, <laughs> shit. It wouldn't work out That's, for me. I want it off, off camera. I want to know who it is. Oh, I'll tell you. All right. It'll be very Patreon. Uh, <laughs> R.I.P. Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hilarious one where uh, there were like not that many nice obits for Gallagher. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Wait, Gallagher died? Yeah, yeah. yeah. When? Two days ago? ago? Yeah. Three That's days ago? That's interesting because, like, didn't oh, yeah. his brother go on? His brother was touring as Gallagher 2. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that was and a whole thing. I remember thing. he was a dick. By the way, how you know it's not a great comic? Right. There, right. There's, no, there's no Carlin 2. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Or maybe it's just Gallagher. He's like, <laughs> oh, I wore out my welcome. Yeah. So was he hated? Like, what do you think he was like to 
his peers like how we like was he like Carlos Mencia or something? I heard he was a or? dick. Everybody that was the the buzz yeah. about him that he was a mean think guy. About how or much the person that love, people yeah, I don't know. But think about how much we want to love comics. You know, like this is like such a it's like a family. Not to sound corny, but it really like you wanna love your fellow comics. So But comics like shit on each other now publicly. I, I just I, I wasn't trying to shit on Carlos Mencia. I'm just saying I remember when I was coming up, people okay were like we don't like him and I didn't understand why. But he's and like then, an unapologetic joke thief and he's kind of got a bad vibe I feel like you know where it's like I'm saying if you you have to do so much for us to turn on you I feel like I, the public will turn on you but comics rarely turn on other comics unless they're really shitty I think Sam that is not true you don't think so no because people like talk shit about people on their podcasts now Ah, that's a bummer. That's we try to avoid. We're that, trying. Right? To I don't do it either, but there Except is. Except for Gallagher, I apologize. Yeah, well, <laughs> they won't hear it. We're in the Rest in of peace, Gallagher. You're one of the greats. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there weren't any nice obituaries for Gallagher. It was a, a, a couple were like, you know, hey, he was nice to me one time. You know, right, right. You do you think see. twenty year olds know who that is? Probably no. no of course not. No way. They no. don't even know who. Martin we lost Scorsese. all our twenty year old listeners after we had Al Franken on. <laughs> 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 what was Al Franken drinking? Uh, he was drinking a not funny juice. <laughs> no, we have no, a dignified joking. lady here. Oh, sorry. And you're sorry. belching. It's okay. Like a, it's animal. the fourth time he's done it. I oh, know. sorry. I know. I'm used Next to time it. I'll sit on Sam's side. I like it. All right, all right. You sorry. like it? I do. I'm used Last to one. it. That's cute. Last one. I'm used to Swear it. To kinda, I do I've never like seen like French wine make someone burp. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can declass <laughs> anything. <laughs> But uh, oh, you uh, you were on uh, Andrew Dice Clay's show. Remember that show? Mm -hmm. That was a good show. Yeah. Oh, now we're just like googling like <laughs> comics. Well, that... I saw oh, this okay. photo. What? Uh, yeah. What's that? What was that like? How was Dice to work with? Um. He well, at one point, I remember he was like, he was like, hey, we were doing a bedroom scene. He's like, can you give me a massage? Like in between and <laughs> in between takes. Oh boy! And I was like, no, I'm gonna. I, and Adrian Brody was there that day. I was like, why don't you ask Adrian Brody nah. to give you a massage? <laughs> and he's like, fuck no, I don't, you know, like. Ah, so well, now he just made a sexual. Right. Well, I, uh -huh. I mean, but that's the thing. Like, he wasn't trying to be rude. It was just like he's like, hey, you know, you're in, we're in a bed. You know, my back hurts. Whatever. Oh boy! Jesus. But I didn't that's know. that's the beauty of Dice. He's just like, <laughs> he is that. He's just like, he's, uh, you know, he's over the top. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. I mean, he would go through customs smoking cigarettes. <laughs> and they'd be like, he, they'd be like, excuse me, sir, you're not supposed to be smoking. He's like, oh, I didn't see the sign. That's hilarious. I mean, he's just like, <laughs> who does like that? One of these too. Yeah. <laughs> With the x ray thing, woo, woo, going around, he's got a cigarette in there. That's, that's hilarious. Yeah. But, and then it's just like, he gets in a mood and it's just like, walk away. Walk away. Oh, you know, wow. he's, he's, but he was a gr he was a great father, and his kids really loved him, and I think that's always a good sign. Agreed. Sure. Yeah, I opened for him once, and I, you know, I'm not the biggest Dice guy, but I was like, he's a legend. I'd like to meet him. So I go up to him and I go, Mr. Dice, I'm your feature. <laughs> just saying hello. If there's any, and he goes, you want a photo? And I go, no, no, I'm just saying, you know, hello, and how much time do you want me to do? He goes, give me the phone. And I was like, <laughs> all right. So I just gave him my phone. He took a photo of us with my phone and gave it back, and I didn't know how much time to do. I mean, when you think of the trajectories of comedians, like, to, to be... To be at the very tops, I mean, for the way he explained it, it was like one day Madison Square Garden yep. selling it out, the first one ever, the yeah. very next day backlash on New York Times front cover. That's right. So, I mean, that is like a massive like thing to deal with emotionally. And, you know, I, I don't know how people would cope with something like that. It's so funny that Dice is playing MSG. Like one night there's like the Knicks or the Rangers and the next night he's like, this chick is sucking my dick, right? <laughs> 20,000 people. <laughs> but a lot of comedians have played it since, right? Oh, yeah. But he started, and then he did the next album's hilarious, The Day the Laughter Yes. Died. It's just Dice bombing at Dangerfields for an hour. It's yeah. Kinda it's kind of like a weird artistic choice that I really respect. To I be know. Like garden to just eating shit. I, I actually have that record. My friend Brendan Walsh gave it to me, and I'll play it when I'm having a party and I want people to leave. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's like it gives the right cue. People yeah. are kind of like jar. It's oh, jarring in a way. <laughs> if you ever divorce Moshe, put that on. And he'll be out there I think I'm packing. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been married to Moshe? Um, seven years. Woo! Nice. The seven-year itch. 
Thank you. And uh, yeah, we have this child now, and it's it's really amazing to have a child. You should do it, Mark. Yeah, you think? Although Moshe told me I should stop telling everyone to have a kid. Well, it's not for everybody. Yeah. But it is once you have it. Mm, I, I really? promise you. What, I mean, you unless you get a fucked it. up one. That's true. Yeah, you don't want to. We had a bad kid growing up, my brother, and he. One of my Your brothers. brother was bad? He was like a problem child. Mm. Is he, he still bad? Or? He lives in a van that he ah. put an address on. Ah. And he like, he spent the pandemic on probation because he got into a fight at a gas station parking lot. Because he basically, he's like, and it's never his fault. You know, he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in the I'm in the 7-Eleven. And I just said to this guy, I'm like, hey, brother, why'd you put on a mask? <laughs> and and then I'm pumping my gas and the guy steps to me and you know it's with because guys like my brother who've been to court a lot they know what all the laws are he's like he steps within 11 feet of me <laughs> like, he kind of knows like what the cutoff right, is legally right. how close someone can get to you <laughs> yeah so of course he's like so you know I pound him in the face he was so close you know he's in my he was he was within his feet and then it's then he's got his license taken away and you know it's like always something yeah, yeah. heavy you know right. I feel yeah. bad for him wait he was pushing the mask or the other guy was my, surprisingly, my brother That's was, was pushing that this guy wear a mask. Uh, <laughs> you don't hear about the liberal bad Exactly, ass exactly. He's yeah, like, hey, buddy, you for a woman's right to choose? Yeah. <laughs> no? He's a- Let's fucking dance. <laughs> <laughs> so I think he's gotten his his license back now. But, you know, it's it's just... Good for him. Yeah. All yeah. right. So but your other brother, you're closer to? I'm close to my other brother, yes. Yeah. But, you know, I do feel bad that my kid doesn't have a playmate, you know? I mean, have, have you ever tried to play make-believe with a five-year-old? It's exhausting. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of work. It's, it's so much work. I zone out. You know, I'm just not good at it. I like, like, art activities, but mm-hmm. she doesn't want to do that. And then, you know, Moshe's just at a loss. He's just like, okay, we're going to the mall. Or, like, he'll just take her somewhere, oh, you yeah. know, just to, like... Because they can... You'll wake up at 7. They'll wake up at 7. On the weekend, you put it, you give them TV. By the time you wake up, it's been two hours. Right. That's already how much TV they're supposed to watch in one day. Good point. Then you have from 9 a.m. till 8 p.m. to fill Ooh. up. It's it's a lot it's of a time. a lot of work. Wait, I thought you were trying to sell him on having a kid. <laughs> I know, right? right what, what's the pitch to have for having a kid? Because he has a wife who will... Uh, if if he's lucky, give up her stand up career to help raise their child, <laughs> and then he can go on the road. You'll pay for everything. You're yeah. kind of you're kind of like you know, flip that, flip that. Right right now. Well, while you're fucking, you're gonna make you gonna quit, baby. Yeah, you're gonna quit. <laughs> no, I I think that um you know you're not you're 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 young. Well, yeah. All right, you're you're selling it pretty good. I'm not trying but... to sell it. I'm not trying to sell. It. I would like to sell my book though. Yeah, yeah. sell the Hold book. It up. Hold That's it up. your real baby. So these are comedic tales, no comedic essays, because it's all real, um, uh, based on my experience of motherhood and you know parenting at the end of the world and freezing my eggs and love it. You know, uh, help. <laughs> That's a great cover. Great help, cover. Free and paid. You know, I feel like no one ever wants to talk about the people we have to pay to help our kids, the nannies. You know, you can't really be like a working professional and not have people you you're have paying people. to help you with your kid unless you have parents or something. Um, parenting at the end of the world. I mean, this was a big thing that I went through because the pandemic happened and, you know, you're like taking care of this thing and the stakes are so high. And mm. then just like, if I go get her a haircut, am I potentially, or eat, 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 dine indoors? Am I potentially going to give her long COVID? Right. And, oh, you know, it's like every single decision. It's like, this was, su- this was like, tr- I'm still traumatized. <laughs> yeah, it was a nightmare time. I it was feel a like lot. mothers and like kids who missed middle school, they probably had no, it. Oh, like, no. wasn't your whole personality developed in middle school? Completely. So kids were like in fifth grade and now they're a freshman or something. It's yeah. like so weird. It's you know? weird. I just feel so bad. And I have so many friends, kids who are like 10 and 12 and they just keep wearing their masks because that's just how they feel comfortable now. Mm. You know? Yeah, it's a tough time. I mean, You're missing your prom, people. missing your graduation, starting college. All that is gone. It's not the same. That's yeah. a bummer. So so I think we have it, you know, families, sing, you know, single men, new, new, newlyweds. newlyweds. You guys, we all have it. Where are you at on the, uh, my brother has two infants and he doesn't allow phones. He doesn't allow TV and isn't on iPad, nothing. And... Well, infants, no. You're supposed well, to wait till two. Sorry, I, I don't know what infant means. One's nine and one's four. <laughs> But, Wait, are you serious? Yeah. 
you know, children. What's the word? Yeah, kids. At what age should you be giving a kid a But a these kids are so smart. They do puzzles. They write plays. They re- they've read more books than I have. They oh, do because art. they're nine and he doesn't allow phones? No, no. And it, I don't how know does, how he does it. Does he have a wife who doesn't have a day job? He, she's a doctor. He works from home. Ah. So I guess he knocks it out at home while working, kind of. He sounds like he's killing it. Maybe he'll be a good a good dad too, Mark. He's killing it, but he's miserable. Mm. Why is he miserable? Well, it's just a lot of work. It's like she's, you know, it's like, like you, you said. ground them from the iPad for like saying something rude, and then you're like, oh wait, it's, I wanted you to get on the iPad yeah, for me. So I'm you're grounded. like, okay, you can watch the iPad, but you know, it's <laughs> it's it's your it's your downtime. But again, this is how people did it for thousands of years, and now all of a sudden we're no, like, that's had, crazy. But they had a bunch of kids. That's true. They raised each other. Oh, you're that's that. I never thought of it. So we didn't have this is like a this is like the past 10 years. You could like stick a device with anything in front of it. exactly before well, you just sent them outside and they figured it out. My, my daughter asked me the other day. She's like, Mom, how, how do you French kiss? Whoa, she's four. Whoa. And I go, where did you hear that? <laughs> And then she was like, oh, I don't know. And then I, that's like when you just kind of pivot and change the subject. But like, oh but sometimes God. on Netflix, she's watching cartoons. Uh oh. But they might be for like, like teens or like, like big preteens. Mouth. Well, she's definitely not watching Big Mouth. Uh, like, you don't know. I have, well, I have the setting oh, okay, for okay, kids. Okay. But then I'm like, okay, I guess I have to vet everything. You know, and uh, then she starts watching these things on YouTube. I don't know oh, what YouTube. YouTube is the worst because, it's, like, I'll hand her a TV show like Bluey or something, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden she's on the phone, and then I'm listening, and there's like some like it's like bad acting. It's like a mother and two kids pretending. The mom's pretending she's mad at the kids, mm. and the kids are like showing some product. Pull it's it like up. some weird like the people. No, I don't even know what it is. It's a genre of like people in the Philippines renting out a mansion <laughs> and like what. I, I don't it's it's so strict I need to find out what it is and now my daughter knows it's like these empty McMansions that people oh are renting is and that then, it? it's a kid show and and, the, and they they like when I don't know but I was listening I was reading this article about um, you know Coco Melon that's a big one they all like mm. and so basically there's these dudes in Silicon Valley and they are testing Whoa. the shows so they put a two-year-old in the room and then in the corner they have on an ipad uh someone doing really boring things like pouring tea mm-hmm. or you know just like putting dishes in a dishwasher and anything anytime the kid looks at that instead they flag it so they only want like the things that grab the kids attentions the most so one one wow. cartoon that they mentioned this is in the new york times one cartoon they mentioned they said like kids love school buses but they also love minor injuries Whoa. so then there's a school bus that has a bandage wrapped around it and so like that's how you can get the kids to not look at the oh coffee God. pouring or oh anything my else. God. We're just helping pedophiles <laughs> at this point. This is pedophiles are like, holy Wait, shit. Wait, you go back? This... What is that? By the way, they're just doing this to adults with the news, by like, the way. What That's is true. That? You're like, right. Oh, those are t- maybe they're like, maybe these parents are like getting money to show toys. Like these are unprofessional videos and this is Whoa. all my kid wants to click on. And it's, it's like, and one day she even goes, she goes, mom, this is bad sound, right? Oh, like she, wow. She knows she knew, sound. She knew it was like they didn't have wow. lobs on. And this is just like. That is an L.A. kid. <laughs> the quality's sure. low. Low res. But yeah, it's just like. So So anyway, back to your brother. I mean, he's clearly doing the right thing. It's just that takes so much energy. He's an animal. I don't know how he does it. Is there it. any difference between like, you know, showing this shit to kids and then adult? It's just like, look who Pete Davidson's fucking now. And you're like. Same Quick. shit. Same shit. Same shit. Yeah. Kanye. They know how to grab us, too. I like, bet we're you not they so so sophisticated it, right. ourselves, you know? Yeah. And I'm sure that, the, well, that's what the algorithm is, right? That's They're it. like right. testing and figuring out what grabs what grabs the most amount of people. At, oh, my God. This is scary shit. <laughs> I hate God. it. This is so weird. You're trying to get looking. us to have kids. I don't want, look at this shit. Look at well, these pacifier looking weirdo. I know. They're trying to make a buck, too. Everyone's trying to make money. I know, I know. But oh. it is like, I guess I just love living with a spirit like this little spirit angel who doesn't know who Trump is. It's and innocence. Like, yeah. It is just like so special. And she, lo- you know, she just always wants to be with me and she thinks I'm so cool. Ah. And she's just like, you know, we have fun together. And I, I just. That's great. Yeah. 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 Man, I'm, I'm a lot of steps away from this right now. But Mark, you're close. <laughs> I don't know. The French kissing thing w- weirds me out. I hate to tell your kid as an OnlyFans. I don't know if you do that. But. Right, well, that must be like an older boy at her school, right? 
It's got to be. Maybe. Some the pacifier weirdo. thing creeps me out, too, though. I don't like these. I who know. these at? Like, there's some guy who's like, oh, I'm a child distraction actor. That's what I do. Yeah. I distract, <laughs> I distract children. It's my job. I mean, it's harrowing. And, and yes, yeah. I don't want my kid's face up there. And I don't know if this is true, but I heard someone saying that on some of these videos of kids, you'll see, like, a time code hmm. in the comments and if you go to the time code, it's like where the kid shows their underwear or something. Uh, so it's just like everybody, like we're all, it's it, it's it's just like we have to fight against every pedophile yeah. in the world mm. is on the internet. Like why yeah. would you want your kid on the internet? Jesus. We'll find a way to make anything sexual and creepy. Um, sorry, I didn't, do. I didn't mean to go so, so No, dark. no, no we have a big pedophile fan base. Anyway, okay. you guys should really have a child and get my book. Get the and, book. Uh, Unless you're a pedo. Here's you the don't question. deserve her children if you're a pedo. Now, I've been drinking. Do pedophiles have kids? I doubt it. I mean, it's, you know, it's they get high on your own partner. supply. That is a good question, though, Mark. <laughs> I'm curious. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's, an honest, <laughs> it's an honest question. <laughs> is that what he said? <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, Mark. if... It's just in the house. You don't have to go to a, a playground. Mark. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm raising well, a good point. snooty pedophiles who are like, I'll fuck a kid, but not my kid. I'm sure there is that. Incest, That's incest. Come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> These are the things I think We're about. losing all of our listeners all right. right now. Let's so bring thought. Al Franken back. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad idea. Oh, yeah. I brought a pedophile around him, and he froze. He did not like me. Or me. Yeah. Us. Or I, bet, the show. I bet he was thinking you guys were cool and he wanted you to think he was cool. No, we didn't. I don't think he liked us. <laughs> Sweet man. He's 71. He did he's not care for us at all. He's 70, really? He looked good. He is a good. He looks good. So I heard that like actresses are all taking um, diabetes medication to stay skinny. Is that really? right? Uh huh. I've heard like three different people tell me Who? that. Who's taking the diabetes? I'm not gonna Come say on. it. Calista Flockhart. <laughs> yeah. But I wonder if like 70 year olds are doing something too, uh, right? Like some kind of, you know, like what was the thing HGH? Like yeah. Maybe he's on something like that. Oh, uh, he is in politics. They know all about that shit. Possibly. I don't know. Interesting. I heard uh, the amount of uh, female comedians doing Botox blew my mind. I was shocked. Wait, you didn't know that women did Botox? I didn't know. I thought you did it maybe when you were, you know, 48. I didn't know it was oh, so yeah, prevalent. Do it I know girls in their 20s. It's right? Is it? You should not. By the way, if you're 20 know. and you're listening to this podcast, you should not get Botox when you're 20. Because you when do you get it? What age? I don't know when you. Because I used to hate that Kardashian lip, like that puff. They I all have like that the puff. puff around their I mouth. The puff. But if you look at what the opposite of that is, like a you little know, crinkle here. Yeah, it's That's like not it's not bad. I don't mind a crinkle. That's yeah, natural. You yeah. know, but um, I, I, I guess, I, I don't know. I, I Just whatever you do, don't get your lips done. And honestly, men shouldn't do anything. Have you seen Perry Farrell? I don't, I don't know, know who that is. is. You guys don't know who Perry, from Jane's Addiction? Oh, okay. no. Well, oh, no. any man who no! gets... <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's Jesus like Christ. when you get your eyes done... You know, when you get... Looks like he runs a haunted toy store. It's <laughs> crazy. S uh, plastic what the surgery wow. does not look good on men. There's no. Gay he, men, maybe, is could he gay? get away with it. He's not gay. Wow. I, I don't know. I don't think he's gay. Maybe he is. But see how cute he was? He was a hunk. I mean, he he's was a like pretty man. so hot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's the eyes. The eyes are bad to do. You, you don't want to get your lips done. It's uh, like a picture that you just keep drawing. You know, that you're like, oh, it, eh, a little more, a little more. But if you actually step back and look at it, you're like, oh, I did too much. I think that's the thing with plastic surgery. They I just know, keep I going. I don't know any guys who have done that. He doesn't look bad there. Wait, <laughs> did... Um, so Al, Al Franken didn't have plastic surgery. Oh. No, 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 no. But he looked good. He looked great. I mean, he he's got a full good. head of hair, and he's yeah. hanging in there. He looked really good the way he, he said, huh, after every Ugh. joke I bombed. All right. We're brutal. focusing too much on huh? Frankie here. Huh? You can cut this out. Okay, All right. Keep it. <laughs> Give the people what they want. He doesn't know what podcasts are, even though he has one. <laughs> but yeah, nice guy. Nice guy. Sweet kid. My best friend. All right. Hey, hey, folks. When going through your daily checklist, make sure hydration stays on the top of the list. Liquid IV is easy. The only easy way to stay hydrated, get five essential vitamins and hydrate two times faster than with water alone with just one stick of Liquid IV. Whether you're prepping for the day or a long-haul flight or on vacation, Liquid IV is essential addition to your routine. 
All kinds of good flavors. I like pina colada. That's my fave. I got a big shelf full of liquid IV. I got all the flavors, a ton of bags of the it. The lemon lime I love. Ooh, yeah. Very good. Grape Sometimes is not bad. Sometimes I pretend I'm drinking yummy pee. <laughs> It's nice. <laughs> R. Kelly. All right. <laughs> Use liquid IV first thing in the morning before a workout when you feel run down or after a long night at Bodega Cat. Why not hydrate with a single serving packet and it helps you hydrate on the go? Big fan. I use it. We drink a lot, obviously. The booze will kill you. Recharge, replenish, reinvigorate with liquid IV. It contains five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. It contains three times the electrolytes as a, a traditional sports drink made with premium ingredients, gluten-free, dairy, and soy-free. It uses cellular transport technology designed to enhance rapid absorption of water and other key ingredients into the bloodstream. Tell them how. Grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% when you go to liquidiv.com and use code DRUNK at checkout. That's 20%. Anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code DRUNK at liquidiv.com. Nice. Hey, hey, folks. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Look, Adidas dropped Kanye, so did Balenciaga. Better help should pick up Kanye. He needs it. If life came with a user manual, things would be easy for everyone. But it isn't. So when it's not working for you, it's normal to feel stuck. Navigating a career change, a new relationship, or beginning a parent, becoming a parent can make you feel uncertain. Therapists are trained to help you learn productive coping skills, which makes therapy the closest thing you'll get to a user manual for you. We all go to therapy. We all go to the same guy. Love him. Love him. It's a game changer. You got me in. I'm hooked. I he got knows listed. me too well. I know. It's scary. It's, it's, I, we were talking the other day about a toxic woman, uh, and he goes, uh, you're not done with her. I was like, yes, I am. He goes, I know how you are. You love it. I'm like, I was like, fuck you, Alan. Man, he's good. I was like, yeah, he is good. Better help us online therapy that offers video, phone, and chat therapy sessions. You can choose to to not see anyone on camera if that makes you feel better. Tell them how to do it, Fatty. As the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online. Plus, it's affordable. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to match with a the therapist. If things aren't clicking, you can easily switch back to a new therapist anytime. It couldn't be simpler. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the right therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash drunk. That's BetterHelp.com slash drunk. Hey, folks, We Might Be Drunk is brought to you by Factor. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Factor is here to give you delicious, healthy meals that are ready in minutes. With Factor, spend less time in the kitchen, more fun in the sun, it's fresh, never frozen, prepared, super good, delicious. You won't believe, and they're good for you. With 30 meals offered each week, you'll never be bored with your meal plans. Each meal arrives pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes. That's faster than getting a pizza. Look at all they got. They got vegan, veggie meals, low-calorie options, juices, smoothies, energy bites, plant-based bars, extra protein, and veggie size to every meal. They sent me a bunch. They were great. It's, good. I, it's really I, good. It's really good. I ate one every day. I'd give them to the lady. She's a food snob. She liked it. Those smoothies are incredible. Yeah. Nice just having the house. Coconut milk. Woo. So good. good. Yeah. So uh, head to go.factor75.com slash drunk60. That's code drunk60 at go.factor75.com slash drunk60 to get 60% off your first box. It's That's good. 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 I really liked it. I mean, I still have a couple in my freezer just to, for you never know when you want a quick two minute uh, heat up, you know? Healthy eating made easy. Get on it. All right. We Might Be Drunk is also brought to you by Lucy Nicotine Gum. Everybody tries to quit smoking. It's hard. There's books about it, there's lectures, there's TED Talks, there's hypnotists, all this stuff. But quitting smoking is the hardest thing you'd ever do. But not with Lucy, baby. Lucy was founded by Caltech scientists, former smokers who want to help other people quit. They set out to create a better and cleaner nicotine alternative. It took three years of research, but they made Lucy, a nicotine gum that actually tastes good. Comes in wintergreen, cinnamon, pomegranate. And if you don't like gum, they got lozenges, baby. Citrus, mint, or cherry ice. Woo! I like the citrus. Goes <laughs> down easy. It? Yeah, oh yeah, I used to chew this just for a little jolt. 
Each has four milligrams of nicotine when you're craving a smoke. You need a little something to satisfy that habit. Get your fix. Lucy's got you, baby. Subscribe monthly, too, and they'll send it right to your house. Tell them how, sloppy jalopy. They're supporting this show, so go to... go. God, well, fucking damn it. <laughs> we're not even drinking yet. They're support- I think we're better with the alcohol. Maybe. It loosens us up a little bit. They're supporting the show, so go support them. Get 20% off all products, including gum or lozenges, at lucy.co with code DRUNK. That's 20% off lucy.co and use promo code DRUNK at checkout. And here's the part the lawyers make us say. Warning, this product contains nicotine derived from tobacco. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. But what isn't these days? Am I right? Good point. No, duh. Get 20% off at lucy.co with code DRUNK. <laughs> yeah. He's the, co- he's the new co-host. How did you two get together? Are you just like both We've known each other hilarious forever. comedians? And- years and We've, years. years of open mics, each- the whole thing. No Mark forever. And, uh, and then we, during the pandemic, we, try, we tried this on Zoom. It was that thing where we talked about the the spirit of the pod was like the end of the night. We were like, ah, one more drink. And right. then it turns into, you know, 5 a.m., 6 a.m., we're fucking wasted. And it turned into, the, we tried it on Zoom. We're like, we'll, we'll have like a cocktail on Zoom and do a podcast. And it was really fun. Yeah. And it turned into a thing, you know? That's the one thing I will say about having a kid, that that feeling you have when you're younger where you're like, let's keep the party going. You know, like that mm-hmm. one where you're like, okay, I could go to bed now, but if I like smoked three more cigarettes and like smoke some pot and then ha- then you have another drink and yep. then you're kind of up till three or four, like that instinct, you kind of have to like squash that. I as mean, an adult. I mean, well, as you don't have to, but as a parent, right. I find, because then you have to get up at seven. Oof. Thank you. I'm away from my family this week. <laughs> yeah. Especially if with you don't, kid, if you don't squash, you end up fighting people in a Seven so, Eleven. Yeah. Uh, no, I know what you Put mean. No, I mean, I, but think about being a kid. What Thank was you. the most fun you ever had? It's when you were at a friend's house, you're sleeping over, and you're pouring all night or watching movies, eating like junk food. You're like, oh yeah, that's the best night you'll ever have as a kid. The oh, best. Staying up all night. You're just like, let me let's watch a fucking movie. Yeah, sleep. Remember sleep sleeping overs. at my friend's place, and we're just chain. We're like sixth grade, just chain smoking cigarettes, watching a boot a bootleg Fight Club. You were chain smoking in sixth Maybe seventh grade? grade. Love it. Really? We're, we're bad kids. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and he lives your... in a van. <laughs> did your mom know you were smoking? No, of course not. Until one day, you can smell I... it. Well, we were at a friend's house, but I remember, yeah, my mom found them once and was really <laughs> pissed at me. I blamed her. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I smoke because of you. She's like, why? I don't smoke. I was like, I don't know. Yeah, I remember nothing. my dad hit me once and I said, I'm telling social services. And he was like, where the fuck did you learn that? <laughs> that was my big move. Yeah, my, my the other day my daughter, she, like she kind of hit me and I was like, Uh-oh. I was like, ow. Or I, I said, don't do that. And I just brushed her arm away and she started screaming police. Whoa. <laughs> and she's clearly like playing, but also like she must have heard that yeah. on the playground because their school's kind of mixed. So there's some older boys there and Whoa. stuff. But she was like, police, police. <laughs> I think she, yeah, she was like, my mom, she's hurting me. Whoa. And I was like, that was you. Like, I, you hurt me. And yeah. I said, I moved her hand. So That's it's pretty like. smart. <laughs> That's like diabolical. She she twisted it. Oh no! Yikes! And then somebody comes over. I heard police. She's, she said defund. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so hard. I'm trying to get over the idea that I every decision I you know like I, I want to make the perfect decision. Of course. Every, in Can't every bat a thousand. I know. As Dr. Drew would say, just the fact that you're worried about that is already a good sign. He would say that? Yeah, that's what he always said on Loveline back in the day. So as long as there is like the instinct of love and trying to figure yeah. it out. Yeah. Like somebody would call in and go, I'm worried about my daughter or worried about my son. He would go, just the fact that you're trying to fix this problem and worried about it is means you're a good parent. Yeah, being present, it seems like such a big part of that, right? I know. And like the whole, whole so much about having a little kid is like, let's wrap it up. You know, like yeah. every every activity, it's just like, so do you want to play pirate ship? You know, and then like yeah. you can't look at your phone. And like Bonnie McFarlane told me she used to set a timer to like not look at her phone when she was with her kid. Uh, and like, you know, just. And that, that whole time she has to listen to Rich Voss. That's very hard. <laughs> you know? But, you know, just. We yeah. love Rich, by the way. That's yeah, yeah. And yeah. I love Bonnie. Yeah. We so love Bonnie. I'm we love team Bonnie. Bonnie. We're going to get Bonnie on here, by the way. I love Bonnie McFarlane. She is so funny. I mentioned her in my book. So too. dry she's, and so witty. She's Great hilarious. Jokes. And Ugh. she has. 
That was the last one. She has a great book out, too, that Anthony Bourdain did the foreword to. So Whoa! Uh, yeah. And a great documentary, Women Aren't yeah. Funny. But she also... Um, she has a really great relationship with her kid. Like, her kid yeah. really Rain. loves her, and... They just seem like, you know, like that's kind of how you watch my kids going to hate me. But uh, <laughs> well, she did start saying this thing lately where she's like, Mom, don't say don't tell people things I say because Jesus, I know. And I'm just like, OK, so then I was like, I guess I can't put this material into a special yeah, that she can. can watch when she's 12. Yeah, eh, I Louis mean, when, did it. He it's going to live. Fine. Right. If I put it on tape. Yeah, of course. And then, you know, I think someone's like suing their parents right now what? for like, putting them on Instagram. People people are like very into their rights, which sure. I understand, you know. Yeah, well, then you should actually give all the money back from when you raised them. <laughs> Ah. You get the sue back. Good point. Yeah. yeah, I won't joke about you. Goodbye, college fund. Yeah, raise yourself, motherfucker. I didn't pay. I, I had to pay for my own college. That's why I went to City University. Of New York. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Hunter College, but it was a good education. You yeah, twelve hundred a semester. Wow, what was it like being a college kid in Midtown Manhattan? It was pretty awful. Really. I mean, it was just like being poor, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, guess I really, so. I really didn't like my time in New York. So it is always nice to come back here and be and able to afford a cab. <laughs> that know? is helpful, yeah. There was a lot of like buses and subways and rats. That's the problem with New York too. Like anytime uh, where the rats are like, like in the summer, I would see a rat every day. Yeah. I know you guys do too, right? Look, more than you got to learn to live with the rats. They're is that what it city. is? You learn to live with them? I, I can't look. I'm a native New Yorker. I love New York. I, I can't defend certain elements of the city. You just have. I, I was trying to get my ex to live here, and it's like you know we'd be walking around, and she'd be like, "This is just like bad," and I'd be like, "Yeah." <laughs> Yeah, it's bad, but it's yeah. spoken but it's like home. a true New Yorker. But, but you know, look, the uh, there's going to be rats out. Sometimes you'll see them fucking. <gasps> yeah, that's be, fun. No, you'll see a homeless Have cock. You seen every, that? Sure. Oh yeah, yeah. <gasps> yeah, that's a good thing to see because you're like, all right, they're not worried about me. Yeah, they're yeah. just fucking each other. I am the prize. Yes, you'll see a homeless cock every once in a while. But here's what we have: LA doesn't. Pizza is slightly. Uh, Open later. <laughs> so we got our stuff too. Yeah. Here, here. It is getting less. The, the things are getting no, less. No, New York has got a lot of problems right now, but it I do does. think some of the crime stuff is being blown out of proportion by the media. I think they they like to create fear. So. Oh, same with LA. Everyone's saying it's like dangerous to be in LA too. So I, I think it's it's the same thing that those people are doing with Coco Melon. They're like trying to figure out what will not avert anyone's eyes from the story. Oh, right. I'll, I'll, be, I'll hear from people and they're like, I hear the crime's getting pretty bad in, in New York City. And I'm like, you live in downtown Indianapolis. Oh, what yeah. What do you think this is, a fucking White Haven community? Like, right. Shit, in urban areas, there's always going to be crime. They're densely populated. New York, there is a there is crime occasionally. I'm not going to like sugarcoat no, it. No, there is, like, yeah. But I don't think it's as bad as people are letting you well, leading you to believe it's all there's millions of people here so there's always crime yeah. but now it's being kind of a show i will say this i saw a guy shooting up on the fucking corner here i saw a guy shooting heroin into his hand uh, as i'm fucking walking in here so as a, but, but that's not a crime <laughs> I mean, it, it is a crime, I it's think. It's a crime, yeah. but it's not a crime against another person. Yeah, yeah hurt people, yourself. People are going to start getting pissed. Yeah, yeah, the drug use is I, up, I will say. A and, lot of needles. A lot of needles. Oh, really? I, oh, took yeah. one, I took one before your wedding, buddy. Huh? Stav and I got IV drips oh, in, good my, for in you. my hotel room before How we went to your it? wedding. It's great. I was hungover as fuck because I ended up at a gas station with Stav eating fried food. <laughs> And uh, and Ari and we uh, we end up in the hotel lobby and then I was so fucked up. Uh, Wait, is this the wedding when you did our podcast? You were on your way to a wedding. No, that was Dana Gould's wedding. Oh, right, right. Okay, that okay. was uh, that was a great time too. But we uh, this was a week ago and we were so fucking. We had to, we had a funny IV drip guy. He was, oh, really? He was calling us. He was calling us gay. It was fucking. Oh, that's he was fun. like, I'm gonna put some gay porn in this IV drip, and we're like, we don't know what that means. Yeah, but, that uh, doesn't really work. But, throw, but stops like, throw it in there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> how did how did you feel after the needle? Great. I mean, it really does help. It helps. It's it huge, does. It's a, oh yeah. It's an absurd Wait, waste of guys, money. Do you guys do this a lot? What? I've done it. Drink or IV IV, IV drip. I do it. I do it more than I should. I've like once a week. Ten no. this year. A ten? ten? That's a lot. Well, I, I work with Burt Kreischer. Yeah, he does IV drip. Oh, oh yeah. My God. 
and it's the only good it, thing he puts in his body. What do you? Think? Yeah, that's true. And, and what does he? What, what do you? What does it? What does it do? Is it like? Is it, it just feeling high? You. Well, no, it's just hangover. They put a little uh, what's hydration. The, not just hydration, but what's the thing? Zofran, so that kills nausea. Oh, I didn't know about that. Yeah, so they they're putting a lot of vitamins in there, and and it's just saline. It just give it hydrates you, and uh, you're back. You're like, yeah. all right, I can could, drink again. Could you get that from pounding water? It no. Won't, it just won't get to you as quickly. No, no way. That's hmm. why you usually need to sleep it off. This is like right in your veins, so you're like, oh, I'm back. I mean, you literally, I'm so, I felt so ill. Yeah. And then he, I put it in me, and I'm like, I could drink. Yeah, exactly. Really? Yeah. I pour a little wine in my bag there. <laughs> <laughs> get it right to the vein. Cake bread or yeah. uh, yeah. cupcake. Wow. Cupcake. <laughs> yeah, the nutrients this is even pretty out. Nice, the actually. It's growing on me. Yeah. Now that I know it's more expensive, I'm really learning to enjoy it. I like white wine. Yeah. Red wine red wine can really give you a headache. And mm-hmm. so I'm yeah. just kind of like over that. Same. I can't I can't do it with the kid. No. But it's so hard to stay healthy being a comedian because like it's the only job where someone asks you like four times if you want to drink before I know. you go. It's like if you're like, No, I'm not drinking tonight, and then someone else comes in, they're like, Hey, can we get you something? No, I'm good. And then the, by the time the third waiter comes in, you're like, okay, fine. All right, fine. I'll get drunk. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> and they'll send shots on stage. I'm like, they don't do that at Broadway. You know, <laughs> it's uh, it's just right. us. Right. Or, or theater. It would be if, if you saw a theater actor drinking before they went on stage, right. you'd be like, that guy probably has a problem. Exactly. Wouldn't yeah. you think that? Yeah. I mean, it's just like also, bo- it's hard to shut down after the show too. So you gotta, sometimes like I'll have at least one or two because you're just like, after take the edge off. It's hard not to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you probably do really well on stage. Sometimes I'm like, I'm glad that's over. <laughs> you know what it is? My problem is, you guys. Maybe you can help me because you're both master comedians. I will kill, but then like I never end strong. Oh. It's like it's almost like against my principles. Like it feels very like sports like i'm gonna crush i'm gonna destroy like i used to oh i used to uh open for john caparulo you remember him oh yeah funny guy he's very funny but he would get a standing ovation every night and it would be like at the really? exact same spot and i'm like what is how many he- new hours was he putting out though I don't know. So, I mean, I heard he repeated a lot of stuff. I think he's very funny. But oh, I think, but I think, you when, think, he well, I think when you're playing hits, you're going to crush harder. And like some comics like to do that. But I think if you're constantly trying to do new stuff, you're going to have dips. And that's just part of the yeah. gig. But, but, but I will say. I bombed last night. It's part of you the fucking did. job. Sure. I was doing new shit. It sucked. You got to work it out. Well, I, I did this one person show a while ago. And I hired this tap dancing troupe of kids. Mm. And their teacher to like come in and do a do a number and they would do this thing and they're like, okay, well, if we go like this and then to the side and then do the shuffle, then we'll get then we'll get a standing over or then we'll get the applause break. So they kind of knew physically what people needed to hear yeah, to like yeah. then have everyone erupt. And so it was like this um, form, you know, right, and so right. I'm always like, I wonder if there's something well, I why don't you say doing. You're, you're crushing in the beginning. Why don't you just move that material to the end? Yeah. Is it an en- energy thing or what is it? Are you doing newer shit at the end? It's, or- it's almost like I just I just I'm done. I think they can feel that. They can feel like she wants to go. I, I and if just you want to like, go, they want to go. I, I have. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I guess it's just this idea of making people like. Wow. Right, right. I don't know. I, I, I am. I get it. The closer is always the hardest to write. But you're right. Maybe I should put the opening thing. That's killing. And then try to put that at the end. I'm like 23 years into comedy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like I enjoy it so much till the end. Interesting. I, I don't know why that is. That's yeah, you got to listen to the set. Maybe it's the order or something. But also, is what Mark said. Maybe it's the enthusiasm. Maybe you're checking out. Maybe Possibly. you're thinking about getting home. Possibly, mm-hmm. but I do. Yes, I, I do think that I, I would love to feel that sort of crescendo, that feeling where I needed to have a couple drinks to come down. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> like Sam, right. he's like in his hotel room, like all wired. I'm and so like, wired. I, I don't sleep. It's a problem. I don't either. It's uh, you don't sleep. I'm so bad with sleep. Yeah, I'm on pills yeah. to sleep. Well, Moshe too. He's like. We, you're on pills to sleep. Yeah, Seroquel. 
You should not be taking it. I know. That's a strong are there bad? It's horrible. Are there bad That's horrible. And it doesn't work that well either. Yeah, what are you doing? That's very I can't strong. sleep. That's I can't sleep. Stuff, but have you tried weed? Like, like no, I'm indica? doing that too. I'm doing the uh, the uh, edibles or whatever. The indica. gummies. Yeah. But don't don't take the ones that like activate. No, you, right? no, no, no. Hmm. And melatonin. So funny well, the word activate for weed. <laughs> yes. I've been activated. <laughs> well, that's how I feel when I smoke weed because I smoke like the more strong, you know. Yeah. You smoke a lot? Um, yeah. <laughs> that's all right. No you, have a very, you have a very pleasing energy. Your energy is like very, uh, you're chill. You're like an easy hand. Yes. Well, I remember asking. a lot? Well, I asked my therapist. I was like, should I not smoke pot? And he's like, I think it kind of works with your personality. I mean, yeah. I'm not, I haven't smoked today, but um, yes, I'm pretty chill. I definitely didn't used to be. Really? Well, I was like extremely ambitious. Mm. I was just like, I wanted to like, you know, uh, I thought I was should get into Juilliard. Like I was just like I, I was just like I had my eye, and then I like when I pivoted to comedy, I was just like I would work so hard. I, I remember Ari at the time. He was, were you talking about Ari Shafir? Earlier? Yeah. He was just such a hard worker, and he really inspired me. And he would like, he had this like sign on his ha- in his in his bedroom that said you're you're not good till you bomb 50 times bobby lee and then he had like the numbers and then he would cross out every time he bombed and he wow. was like on 20 That's... and he was trying to get to 30 he's at 4000 now <laughs> <laughs> you beat me to it <laughs> but i remember i kept a little full i i had like a little um you know like a calendar and i would like make sure i counted every you know i was trying to like beat my record right. and make sure i went That's up great. like 10 times a week or this i would like take a bus to an ice cream shop and like do a 5 p.m. show, then a 7 p.m. show, then a 9 p.m. show. And I was just like so ambitious for for whatever it was, you know? And I yeah. think that- You have to I be guess in the beginning. That's the reason I guess what I'm t- saying is like having a kid just puts it into perspective a little bit more. Sure, And sure. I just feel like my time is more valuable and, and you know, I just don't have the energy to close strong. I just <laughs> want to get home to my children. Well, I, that is an extra incentive. I mean, you're you're thinking about getting home to a kid. That's not- an issue that we have but i also know comedians who had kids and they're like oh shit i gotta i gotta step it up now (laughs) they're gonna say i gotta stretch i'm doing another hour uh, no No, that's how you know a guy just had a baby because like all of a sudden he puts out his tour schedule and he's in like a different Uh, city every night just uh, gone all right yeah i don't want to be there (laughs) but i do think you're right sam like really challenging yourself to do new stuff is is hard like I followed Sarah Silverman the other night and she was kind of like she had like a notebook and she was kind of going through all this stuff and you know the crowd was like whatever and then I went up and I was like I'm gonna kill you know and it's like because Sarah was always someone I, I looked up to and I was like okay you know and then I, I I got off stage and I was like wow I can't believe I'm doing I I was so strong out there and I was like wait Sarah was like making herself do all new material, uh, yeah. you know, and like I'm like throwing out the hits and like sure. doing crap, you know, like killing it. And it's like you have to be able to balance and make yourself maybe not when you're headlining on the road on your like tour or whatever. But, you know, just being able to go up there and force your because you do have to bomb a little bit. Oh, yeah. Like you don't know if this thing's going to be funny. And when you're at Sarah's level, like where are you going to try your new stuff? You're not like going to like a cafe. You right, know? right. Right. And by the way, she was killing, but like, you know, they were definitely laughing, but it was like she was clearly trying new stuff. And it's like, I forget to do that sometimes. But there's a middle ground. You can do your A shit, then try the new, then go back to the A, then try the new, and, and then you're golden. I wish we had like a workshop and we could all like. Let's do. Do you have a bit you're working on? Um, Because I I want to throw one out too after you guys. You go first. I'll go first. Tell me, there's something here. It did not hit the other night. I think there's something here. All right. Um,. I had a girl over and uh, we, we hooked up. I came pretty quickly, so I felt mm. guilty. I was like, let me go down on you. Uh, I want to make sure you After you come inside her, then you go down? I was down? wearing a condom. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. I haven't, I'm, I'm I haven't done condoms. I'm wearing my nun in a one-night stand. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 was think, I forgot people use condoms. So. Yeah, I can't oh. believe you're still doing that. <laughs> still? Come on. I'll be abortions. doing it until I'm fucking married. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I... Uh, so you came quick, you went down on her. Yeah, and I'm down there for a while. And I've, I've got, you know, I've got a bad neck. I'm counting the fucking minutes. <laughs> yeah, I've, got, I've got a bulge disc. Hot, whatever. Sam. So yeah. yeah, I'm counting. But it was a good 20 minutes for sure. You know, uh, it's, it's a while. Love to smell that stubble. <laughs> and then uh, and then finally she just goes, uh, she goes, okay, I came. And I was like, that's it? You think she was lying? I think she was. That, so I said, like, did you really come? And she goes, yeah. And I was like, 
would you tell me if you were lying to me? And she goes, uh, yeah, I, I came. And I was like, all right. I'm like, you promise you tell me. She's like, I tell you. And then we're hanging out watching a movie. And she's like, uh, you know, it's a long drive for me home. Uh, do you mind if I spend the night? I was like, no, spend the night. And she goes, uh, are you sure that's okay with you? And I was like, of course. She goes, would you tell me if you were lying? And I was like, sorry to make you come. Uh, <laughs> Is that something there? I think that's something there, yeah. Because like it, it just hits me there. Is there yeah, something there? Yeah, I like that. I'm, I'm trying to think of a way to make it more clear to the audience. Yeah, is that, is some, there's saying. like a step is missing. Yeah. yeah, I'm so I'm so lost in the dynamics of like this. Like she has to ask you to spend the night. Like it, it's Basically, all making me. She like, she stressed. lied to him, and now now, I have now, to lie to now her. you have to lie to her. Right. Um, okay. But that's cl- that's clearly not clear in the bed. Maybe there's, there's got to be some wording. Yeah, that's it's the like same. something in between. Like if you say, ah, uh, uh, trying to think. Um, Maybe it's the mm. same thing you guys say to each other, like "Yeah, babe." But it's hard when you don't know the person. Hmm. I wish I had yeah. a little more sarcasm. Of course you can. Of course I did. Of course, of course I came. Yeah, like if she says can. something about the not about coming, and then you say the same thing later that she said, just so <laughs> they really hits home with the well, audience. That's what I said. I said she goes, are you, "Are you sure?" She goes, "Yeah." And she did the same thing to me. She goes, "Are you sure?" But I think you need something more, more, more uh, accentuated than "Are you sure." Like, you tell uh, me if you didn't. Yeah, okay. like something like that. Just All so right. it really hits home because, you know, the audience, they're idiots. You got to well, it didn't hit with them. you guys either. I so. left. <laughs> I left. Okay. Um, uh, oh, come on, Mark. That was the last one. That was I swear one. to God. That was sexy. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to fill the dead air. That here. was hot, bro. <laughs> cut Wait, that out. we're taking a quick pause. Can, can we cut in your burp after my fucking bomb of a joke? <laughs> I can go if you're looking. I, li- I think this. Okay, that's okay. A bit. I have I have one very quick joke that has been bombing that I thought was funny. All right, let's hear it. Okay, I I was saying like um, you know it's it's kind of nice getting older because now I feel like I'm like no longer a rapist's first choice, <laughs> and so I can kind of like relax a little bit. But all the women in the front, you know, like the the hot women, like. Then I tried to do that with a, with a woman in the front line. I'm like, but you're doing like good work, ma'am. Like I'm here for you. You're in yeah. the front lines. Right. But I think it's like. <laughs> do the women laugh or are they freaked out? <laughs> I think ra- I think I we think don't do I rape think, jokes anymore. No, no, anymore. no, no, no. That's, that's not a true. funny that's not angle. True. First off, it's a funny joke. I think it needs one more line to really because jokes that always like push people a second. I think they need one like tag. I think that's really funny. But I think I would say something like, "I'm no longer a rapist first choice." You know, now you know. I used to I used to walk quickly home. Now I you know now I take my time. <laughs> You now know? I linger. Yeah, I linger a little bit. <laughs> I throw in my ear, my AirPods. No, right. but then, it'll be but then fine. What about someone who's like one out of three women are sexually abused? It's like I feel like now we have all of these like statistics and numbers like right. pressing down upon us, and it's like I don't want to ever be a part of the problem that makes someone uncomfortable. You've I been think- in LA too long with that <laughs> sentence right there. Holy <laughs> shit! I think you can say that up top. You're like, man, this statistics: one in three women. Oh my god, that's why I feel good now. Because I'm obviously the second choice, or something like that. I see what you're saying. Soften it, it a, little a little bit. Yeah. yeah, but let me tell you something. You take that to the Midwest. That joke's killing. It's, you it's, think? These are, oh yeah, these are that's LA funny. crowds that are fucking like, are we part of the problem if we laugh? You know what I mean? Where yeah. it's like, it's a joke. You're clearly, I think, are you condoning sexual assault? Of course not. Are you mocking victims? No. You're. This is a self-deprecating joke. Why well, can't it's you actually make a, making me. It's actually because I, I remember like. As a woman, you walk through society and you're like always on edge. You're like, who's going to assault me? Who is going to bother me? I mean, you could, you could, you could, what if you opened it with that? That's funny too. And then you go, and that's why I love getting older because I'm no longer. Oh, that's good. So just a little bit of context. Sure. Yeah. That's the one thing. Because I think a rape joke coming out of nowhere, people are like, what? But if you build it up a little bit, I hear what Mark's saying. And then one more line, like, you know, something like, I can take my time. I can, you know. Right. um, Talk about the perks of getting older. Oh, I'll I'll stop and like adjust my, my, uh, my nylon. Yeah, there you you go. Like, uh, try to. But then it's like I'm trying to woo them. I mean, come on. No, that's funny. That's funny. I mean, <laughs> I we're like doing it. comedy here. I feel like we didn't help you at all, Sam, though. I, I'm going to come up out. with a there's a, a wording that she need... says. I'm like so jarred by like coming, like all of the, the I, I'm like putting myself in this world of like you t- <laughs> trying to make this girl come. And like, I'm, I'm just like, uh, I don't know. I, I feel... It's, I was trying. It's very, it's vulgar. 
Ah, <laughs> that's not like a rape joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it was also something funny about just like 20 minutes of me going down there and her just going, I came. I'm like, it's like the end of an indie film or something. You're like, I guess that's the end. <laughs> right, right, that is right. how so, indie films end. They yeah. just end. It. Lost in translation. The credits like, just rolled. That's a funny. Yeah. All right, I'll throw that in there. The credits just rolled. I don't know. Right. Uh, Even if if you're going, she's like, I came, and you're like, did you come? She's like, oh yeah, that was great, or that was good, or something. And then she's like, should I stay over? And you're like, oh yeah, that's a please, good idea. Please. Stay. Oh yeah, because you don't want her yeah. to stay either. That's, Maybe you that need was to a bring. Joke. That wasn't clearly. I, that wasn't. That was okay. not clear. It's, it's just, all we. See, they helped me. It's all fit. All right. What uh, what, oh, what do you got, Mark? All right. Well, mine's mine sucks. Mine's weird. Well, but mine uh, sucked and was weird. Mine too. sucked and was weird too. Okay. Well, mine will be all, weird. We all suck and all right. Weird. Well, that's what that's a new we're joke. Weird. They're supposed to be new and uh, half. See, we're not afraid. Yes. We're putting ourselves on the line. I love we're it. Vulnerable. Cake bread. And we bomb. Cupcake. Natasha, they've watched us bomb so many times. Oh, Mostly yeah. in the Al Franken episode. Oh. But <laughs> yikes. They've watched us bomb so many bit ideas. It's yeah. been a while. We haven't done enough bits on here we should I agree more. I and agree. we should do more Rex and peeves make sure we always get those in there but true give me give me a bit though. okay so i saw a headline that said uh transgender inmate impregnates female prisoner and i thought holy shit where's that porn you know like <laughs> it's it's a news headline but it feels like i've been watching porn my whole life and there's they're always elaborate you know these these ridiculous videos where you're like that would never happen come on that's silly but now i feel like i watch the news and i'm like this is insane like i feel like when i'm oh. an adult and i have kids i'm gonna go turn the news off put some porn on <laughs> like porn has gotten so quaint now it's like teacher has sex with student i'm like that's nice yeah. you know that's funny i yeah. like that porn has gotten quaint porn, porn has gotten quaint, and quaint compared to the news the news is like jesus <laughs> You know, like Jewish space laser, kids in cages, mass shooting. You know, it's insane. It's also funny that like teacher fuck student is just the news too. It's like it's all like, oh, it's so connected yeah, now. Right, right. The, right. Uh, that's true. Mark, that's definitely something. Yeah. There's something there. There's something there. Like telling the kid to turn the news off. What's the headline like. again? Transgender Trans? inmate impregnates female prisoner. And you're like, that feels like a porn. It's like a prison trans porn you know and i'm like that's just a news story so the news has gotten so nutty that i'm like this i like is the wacky. idea that that like all of the school shootings and all of the you know everything that's that's all the violence yeah and then, you know you you the porn is quaint i think you got okay something there. that that's the the meat of it i think so all right maybe yeah, i'm thinking of porn categories don't make it about here. trans people no i'm not I'm, that was just the headline that grab my eye mm. or uh, you know it's kind of hot impregnates female prisoner I'm like picturing them in a prison you know it feels like a porn title there's not really impregnate porn is there it's, you know they always oh, pull out yeah. and shoot on the person's that's face that's true don't people I used to date a guy who I guess always, it was cream pie I guess he always <laughs> wanted to like fuck a pregnant woman or he always thought it was hot like there if is saw one porn. in the grocery store he would like get her that's a category is pregnant women that is a category he why it was hot I don't know because he was I know guys into pregnant women. Yeah, but why? Why is that? Why are you into? Because it's, it's such a feminine. That's such a. That's a woman. Big, I guess, or I don't know, like uh, a belly? voluptuous, maybe. I don't know. I'm, being a man must be exhausting. Are you right? Why? Are you watching a... the vow? Like it's just like people are so <laughs> hor vow? men are so horny. Yeah, yeah. We this are guy horny. Keith Raniere, he's like got a cult, but he's just like every person who comes in the cult, he's like, now nah, you got to suck my dick, and it's just like the and the girl was like, I knew that every time we were alone, it was my, you know, I had to immediately start sucking his dick. It's like wow. But I think some guys, they just, they need sex. <laughs> Gotta start a cult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said being a guy sounds exhausting. Like, that sounds pretty restful yeah. to me. I don't know. Wait, how many times a day would you guys like your dick sucked? Ideally. If, if there wasn't like a weird weirdness to it. You I weren't having like, a cult. It's like Ooh. Muslims with praying. I think five. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. I'm, I'd be good with one, I think. One I think a day? One is good. One you is don't good. Wanna, you want to abuse it. I think if you do it too much, it's not going to be special anymore, you know? So one a day. And then what about jerk off? Is that like if you don't get the dick sucked once a day, are you probably trying to jerk off once a day? Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably jack off once a day. Okay. Two on the road. Mm, because you got that extra time. You got the extra time, and, you know, you want to just... That, that sweet internet access. Yeah, exactly. I want to be clear-headed for the show, too. 
And does 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 jacking off help you be clear headed? It helps me from making a bad decision on the road. <gasps> That's what oh, I was getting at. Then you don't fuck the the fans or the way. Right. Well, yeah. If I, if I, I remember I was talking to a comic once who's married now, and he was like, "How do you not cheat on the road?" I was like, well, "I just jack off a lot." And he it was helps. Like, and he was like, "Yo, that's fucking genius." And I was like, <laughs> "That never, never that never it. occurred to you yeah. to just jack off." That was, was, like, uh, was like, "Whoa!" That was Adam Levine. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't take my advice. <laughs> um, Wait, he's the guy who just. Um, he was he like DMing the porn star? Room five. He's got a Victoria's Secret model wife, I believe. Mo, but did you did you know what he did? He uh. he DM'd his the girl he was cheating on his Victoria's Secret model wife with, and asked her. They used to have they were they were fucking. Then they stopped. Then he asked her, "Do you mind if I my wife is pregnant? Do you mind if we name the kid after you?" Oh, that was because he, he liked the name Sumner. Sumner. Damn. And so they named. Yeah. He was fucking Sumner Redstone. That's crazy. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> it's like the head of Icom, right? But oh, it's just like ninety-five. Like, oh, okay. Pull up a picture of him. The joke works with a picture. Oh, it's mark. a guy. Oh, okay. That's even better. But that's pretty fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a quite a move, man. If we had this picture quite during that joke, I said it oh, would have been, it been funny. pretty fun. Damn. What if we had a time machine? Look at that guy. I'm just saying. That's classic. Oh, I wonder who he dates. <laughs> That guy makes Orville Whoa. Redenbacher look handsome. He had a fucking, he had a young ass wife, obviously. I mean, I'm trying to think like. Oh, there you go. There she goes. Same Man, cheekbones. Face, you just, I don't know what work he had done, but it like suckled the face and the neck. He's actually taking diabetes medicine. Yeah, look I at heard. that shit. Imagine That's, fucking him. I was thinking the other day, like, I don't like big tits necessarily. He's got them. <laughs> <laughs> but in a woman, like. If you don't have big tits, you pretty much can't be an A-list actress or oh, marry true. a billionaire. That's Those not are, true. They all they all want really? big tits. You can I, be an A-list actress. What A-list actress has a a boobs? Uh, I don't know, Matt. Look it up. Selma Blair. I don't know if she's A-list. Claire Danes. Claire Danes might have small boobs. Okay. A look up hot actors with small tits. <laughs> Uh, Kira Knightley, Natalie Portman. Boom. Okay, all right. Peters, all right. your search history, your search history is going to be Charlize real weird Theron for that wife later. Charlize does not have small tits. She's he, just a all tall these, lady. these are just like those are those. No, but that's a, that's Cameron Diaz does not have small tits. Okay. Look at that. That's Kira Knightley. All right, her I believe. Miley Cyrus. I mean, that's just a picture of her as a child. <laughs> <laughs> she has small tits. <laughs> 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 Okay, well, you know, marrying a billionaire. Marrying, but you might have us there. Okay, all right. Oh, Carrie Russell, she was pretty. But those are not. That's. Those that's a bra. That's Carrie a Russell bra. was hot too. She's probably yeah. still really hot. Probably. Oh yeah, Gwyneth Paltrow. I like a small boob. Oh, Kate Hudson's got real small ones. Small tits definitely age better than yes. big tits for sure. Mm hmm. But you know. Small boobs. Mo all the models have small boobs. What? Just snapping. <laughs> the agreement snap. He's pretending he's in fucking West Side Story right now. He's just <laughs> snapping out of nowhere. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na -na -na. I feel like we haven't been talking to the bartender enough. The beer, oh. Address him as the beer Jew, please. Yes. The beer Jew? It's, it's a long calling. story. Okay. It's a long story. Kanye named him. I'm not at all. Well, there's the beer Jew in, in, uh, in Glorious, Glorious Bastards. Bastards. And he's a big, burly man, so we just called him the, the beer Jew. Okay, well, I really appreciate you going to all this effort for our Look drinks. Look at him. There's vibes. Eli Roth. He's a hunk, huh? You Wait, like Jewish him? men. What's no, happening? no, well, that's who oh, we're that's... basing him on. Oh, okay, I didn't see that movie. He beats up Nazis. Well, we, yeah, there was something else I was going to ask you about, and now I fucking lost it. You wrote a book. <laughs> you're, uh, are you, you're not on the road. No, I have a tour, but it, by the oh, time it's you over. hear this. Okay. What, what about uh, Peeves? Do you have any Peeves? Oh, yeah, good question. Um, the booze going to my head. We've been drinking all day, mm -hmm. Mark and I. Franken. I have a recommendation. Please. Okay. Three words. Ooh, movie. It's a movie. Oh, okay. We're doing charades. Triangle of Sadness. I hear it's great. Mm, I don't know this. It one. was so good. Pull it up. It was definitely Woody. my kind of movie, like very like class commentary, but comedy. I mean, that's not a great picture. Um, I've heard the movies. In incredible. It was so good, and it was just it just reminded me what I it, did. You ever see Force Majeure? Yes. Same director and okay. writer. 
about the guy who like there's a snowstorm coming and then instead of saving his family he grabs a cell phone right they remade it wasn't that good but great social commentary um really amazing funny i loved it all right and i i kind of hate everything yeah yeah do are you a hater for sure (laughs) <laughs> I just did Drew Barrymore and like she's one of those people who says like she's just like she can't say she's negative bubbly. things yeah. and so it's she's like, like female Jimmy Fallon kind of as a comedian yeah. it is so hard to like because everything I want to say is dark you know yeah, and course, it's just same. like to get out of that like it, it it is refreshing being around people like that but um I I do I, I, I am so drawn to the darkness. I am too. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. most comedians are, you know, and I think that, you know, it's it's just, uh, I why is it only this. 69%? That was such a good well, movie. Nothing, I don't believe this there, stuff. There, no, it, that shit's There's off. nothing funny about like, wasn't well, this great? I mean, that's literally why we do peeves on this I know. But they're not it's trying funny to, to be funny. People aren't that's trying what to be it funny. Is, yeah. They're just like trying to no, connect. No, that's my point though. That's what, that's, to... But that's why we're like, as comics, we're drawn to like, complaints complaining therapeutic complaining funny as long as you and we have to be very conscious while we're complaining to not be a drain because there's nothing fucking worse than being cornered by a person at a party who's just a drain yes i read that the royal family that their motto in life is never complain never explain (laughs) whoa and i was like whoa if you could do that that would be so epic you might become royal yeah, yeah, or divorced. <laughs> my uh, my lady would hate that. She complains a lot. Well, like, we've both... been married for four days, Mark. We... I know it's terrifying, but we we both complain, and we and she's always like, "I don't know what you mean. You got to talk to me because I'm a psycho who bottles everything up, and she's a normal person who's like, no, let's talk about it.'" I'm like, "Talk about it? No, we'll just go through life being miserable." So no, you got to talk about you gotta it. You got to talk about it. So she's yeah. getting me through it. I never went on a vacation until I met her. When you. It makes me, uh, you know, it's like, oh, oh yeah, there you, you know, go. like speaking in I statements is kind of helps instead of like accusing, accusing, accusing. Right, like, right. I feel like scripts help me to communicate sometimes. Like when I was navigating my relationship with Moshe, sometimes I would be like, I'll just call you and we'll have this talk. And I would have like bullet points, you know, oh. sometimes you just have to like get the right script that's like not accusatory, not sure. going to set them off. You know, it's like there's a way to. All right. Sophisticatedly manipulate people. <laughs> I like that. That should be your next book. <laughs> yeah. How to sophisticatedly manipulate. This I'm going to see because I'm worried about you movies. definitely go see it. Movies no, the, are in the, a bad the place new right Martin now. Martin McDonough is supposed to be really good too. Pull what's that? that? Banshees of a, What's it called again? Pull it up. A lot of good horror out now, and I'm not a huge horror well, guy. Well, horror is the yeah, new comedy. Really exactly. Good too. I haven't seen this. The Banshees I- of... Isherin, in, in, in yeah, it's it's Martin McDonough who did like in Bruges. Oh, so. it's like a like a sequel. Uh, I've seen his. He had a play recently that I saw. He's, he's awesome. He's so good. Yeah. So oh, good. I'll watch that. We're gonna see that. We're gonna see Triangle of Sadness. I like the new Neil Brennan special. I saw that in Montreal. It was amazing. Very and funny. Hey, he he ended on something serious. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> but uh, the jokes were great. <laughs> No, we love Neil. We'll have him on. Neil, yeah, Neil's coming on soon. We love Neil. Uh, Check out his special. I got Locks. a pee for you. Hit yes. me. People posting photos on like social media and just the caption being like, so this happened. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we know. That's the fucking picture. That's the it happened. We saw it. No, no one's commenting. I'm confused. Yeah. We know what fucking happened. Right. That, for some reason, that bugs me. That, I'm with you. I'm with what you. What about when people are like, Something really big's about to happen. I'm posting it Wednesday. <laughs> big announcement. You guys like that? <laughs> no, because it's never big. It's never good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's never big. something I want to hear. Something big's coming next day. I'm getting divorced. Uh, <laughs> things are bad for me. Yeah. It is big. That's but, pretty big. That yeah. I would something be Something bad's happening. <laughs> something bad's coming. <laughs> another. I got another P for you. Not every fucking murderer deserves a true crime on Netflix. Mm. And every fucking it. one. They're scraping and they the barrel. stretch it too. Like sometimes I'm watching something. I'm like, why are there six episodes of this? Oh my god, mm. the bodybuilding woman Sally. Or whatever I watched that. Called. I watched it. I fucking hated this woman before I knew she was a murderer. Nah, uh, she was, was a little like, this, slow. This woman's not interesting, and then she, she murdered her husband. I'm like, still not interesting. So you should do this bit instead of the one where the girls. Really? Uh, I might. I might. Have. 
unpredictable. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking hate it, dude. Yeah, that was a weak one. Are you boys on TikTok? I am. I pay a guy to do mine. I mean, I, I've just been starting to do it. Speaking of peeves, because, is. oh, she is quite something. Oh, yeah. So she's a murderer? I'm actually interested. Well, her husband that... was abusive. Uh, Would you let her do squats on your face? Dude? Yes. Right. Now. <laughs> there aren't a lot of, how many female murderers are there? Not, oh, not are you enough. kidding? There's, uh, there's <laughs> women who kill. My wife watches all these female murderer shows. They, that's how women do it. I don't know if she it. deserves a pose. Like, the, she's a murderer and the fucking well, poster, the poster is this. She was a Marine. I know, but I don't, oh, know, if, I I don't see. know if you deserve the, the cover of your murder. It looks yeah. very heroic. Like, right. Yeah. This, you're not in Rambo 2. Like, yeah, you, you murdered a, your husband that's that a you have point. kids with. That's not a picture of Dahmer with an American flag behind him. <laughs> Just like this. Yeah. <laughs> He's playing volleyball at the beach. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. What we're talking, yeah, there's too many murder murder docs. They're scraping the barrel. Do you have a recommendation? Oh, uh, oh let me see. Uh, I got a million peeves and now I'm blanking on them. Well, I just had a wedding, so. How was your wedding? It was uh, it was, it was beautiful, great. Beautiful it was wedding. My lady planned for months and months, and we fought over it, and we spent a ton of money and all that, and it turned out great. My my thing, if anyone's planning a wedding, was always just get the cheapest option. Because really? they'd be like, "Here's what." Well, not with the wine, but like every there's so many decisions. They're yeah. like, "Do you want white chairs? Do you want brown chairs? Do you want bamboo chairs?" And like everything's like an uptick, you know? Yeah. And then oh it's yeah. Like, when everyone's upticks. sitting in the chairs, it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, here, here, here. You I'm, should. I I'm wish sorry. you would talk to her. <laughs> she went the exact opposite route. Uh, I mean, it happens, and I did it in some ways, but like, sure. You know, I had a food truck. I, I was just. Oh, Mark! Look at look Ari, so... drunk Ari on shrooms on the right. <laughs> Wait, Mark, you wore oh. such a cool outfit too. That's you guys red look velvet. So cute. Look at those cufflinks, baby. Why don't flirtily. men ever wear anything besides a dumb black suit? I went for it. Are there stop uh, forcing this, oral sex on Ari? This, or, I was gonna say to this does not look no, like. No, that's post uh, rehearsal. That was, no, dinner. that was the day. Yeah, that was. You got a before. gorgeous wife. I oh, mean, yeah. come I, can on. You believe We're all it? surprised. She was mail order. It was wasn't cheap. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There's Liz, Joe Liz List. singing uh, Springsteen. That was fucking what, great. What was your uh, bachelor party? Did you have one? We went to Florida and with Bert and got after it. Yeah, I, you I let wish I was there. Bert be in charge of your. Well, we didn't let him. He took over. But it I mean, was fun. I'm sure you traveled in style. We had a great time. Yeah, that's all I'll say. Great, great wedding. We buried a few ladies. <laughs> no, just kidding. But remember fun. that movie, Very Bad Things. Oh yeah, Christian yes. That was a big cast. That was a fucking dark. Imagine trying to sell that now. Woo! We kill a stripper in Vegas, <laughs> and then we all turn on each other. And the lead is Jeremy Piven. <laughs> <laughs> It's based on a true story. <laughs> um, well, your wife is gorgeous. She, yeah. I'm, very, she I'm a looked, lucky guy. I loved her. I loved her wedding look. Yes, yeah, good beautiful. look. Headband, cleavage, you yeah. name it. A girl I was talking to at one point grabbed her a headband. I'm like, crazy. Uh, You're crazy. <laughs> I did my Norman voice. Yeah, that'll do it. At the end, I went, marriage. Yeah, <laughs> so that was that. fun. Did you make your wedding funny? A little. We had Sean Patton do the uh, officiating. Killed and he was great. And Joe Liss gave a funny speech. See, I had a traditional Jewish wedding, and Moshe was mad that I was kind of like, we had to, I had to do a dance where Ooh. I dance around him, Ooh. and he was like, oh, you kind of made it funny. But, like, it's so hard to not I know. do something it's, funny. And it's such I, a serious event. So you're event. a Jew. You converted, right? I did. Whoa! That's, I mean, that's a big deal. It's not easy to convert to no. Jews. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, and um, now that I have a kid and Christmas is coming and she's five, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> you can have Christmas, <laughs> What's though. I doing? You can have both. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we got the Hanukkah song. Okay, would you be okay if, if, if you had a Christmas tree? Yeah. He's not going to marry a Jew. Let's be honest. Ah, uh, okay. That's not true. Come I on. Might. I might. No, you guys would clash. Two annoying people going <laughs> at it. <laughs> you need a little yin and yang. <laughs> oh, you marry a girl who converts for you. Wouldn't that make you feel like a man? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's <laughs> Baby, you better fucking become a Jew for me. <laughs> you know what? A real power move is getting a Muslim to become a Jew for me. <laughs> Give up now everything. We're talking. Give that's it all up for me. Palestine coming in. <laughs> no, you know what? I think uh, 
I would marry a Jew. I would also marry a non-Jew. But I, I do want. Here's the thing. What I about a black? Need, we we'll get a we'll get a menorah for Hanukkah. But I'm cool with the Christmas tree. And also, the kids are going to be Jewish if I'm the dad. Let's be real. They're going to pick up mm. on a lot of shit. A lot of Judaism is cultural. That's a lot true. Of it's taste and mannerisms and behavior. Did you have Shabbat Shabbat growing up? No, we weren't that religious. See, he's a, he's a very loose Jew. I'm a loose. A Jew. Loo. Yeah. Someone see my butthole. So uh, I just can't wait for your kids. Yeah. Four-year-old. My back. Oh. <laughs> oh, this oh, baby what did food. I eat? Baby oh. food's room temp. Oh. He falls off the jungle gym. Oh, I got a herniated yeah. disc in my neck. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, <laughs> oh, and my digestion. Uh, I'm, I think I'm the only comic who has Pepto Bismol in his rider. Uh, well, let's do you be- really? I do. I have caviar for two in my ride. What? And no one's ever given it to me. That's yeah, hilarious. Look, yeah, right there. Tell that to Eddie oh, Griffin. <laughs> well, we do do a drinking podcast. I have chugged that many times before we have to drink on this because, like, I, sometimes we come and hung over, and I'm like, dude, Mark yeah. and I had spicy Chinese food the night before we drank. You know, it, it is one of so those. So you things. you literally will drink Pepto? Yeah. Rick Glassman gives me endless shit for this. He's like, you should be taking peppermint pills. I'm like, peppermint <laughs> pills? What is he, your uncle? <laughs> he out Jewed me. Ah! <laughs> you should just drink every other night. No, we don't do it every uh, night, but we, we try. A, it's an addiction. You can't just yeah, tell everyone. Yeah, we got a problem. <laughs> I'll tell you, <laughs> we got a real <laughs> problem. Yeah. Here. You're all right. Uh, I just realized every baby is Jewish. You bring them to a restaurant, they're like, uh. <laughs> 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 they spit up. They hate you the just food. You come up with that? Yeah, that's my bit for the week. The baby, send it back. Yeah. <laughs> I don't so like awful. it. You guys it's are cold. funny. You're, You're funny. funny. Yeah, we're fans. We're, we're glad you. Uh, we're glad you came yeah, here this week. Great you know? to have. I'm you. literally. This is how much we wanted you on the pod. I'm moving in the morning, and I was like, I want. I was like, I want Natasha in here. Oh well, thank yeah. you for having no, me. No, we're we're glad you're here. And yeah, uh, buy the book. See Natasha on tour. Check out her uh, podcast. Yeah, Endless Honeymoon's uh, hilarious. But this is all in November. Moshe Kasher oh, okay. and uh, Natasha Legero have a podcast together called Endless Honeymoon. They give you advice. It's good advice. We have it's a secret hotline where you can oh, call in, cool. leave your deepest, darkest secrets. You can also just go to YouTube uh, and you can get all the information if you can hear me uh, above Mark burping. Sorry, last one. Uh, you keep saying that. It's like, and you, you're like, <laughs> okay. Sorry. It's cute. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hey, you know what? You just got married, so you're living your life. You got that Obviously, right. Obviously, it's okay with her. Oh, she's a farter. <laughs> and a queefer. Wait, she Sutherland. has farted in front of you, and, and you've only been married for four days? She was farting in front of me a week in. That's how I knew she was the one. Well, that's good. Yeah. I was sitting, she was sitting on my face at the time. Stop it. It was a fun gag. <laughs> I, I gagged. So we know we've, this, this one's run its course. Yeah, it was yeah. a literal gag. Yeah, there you go. Ugh. Buy um, her book, The World Deserves My Children. Can you get, where can you get it? Um, you know, wherever you get your books. Uh, Amazon, Barnes and Nobles. Uh, just go to my website. Hell yeah. NatashaLegero.com. Definitely. Hilarious comic. Make sure to pick up a bottle. Uh, Bodega Cat oh, yeah, Whiskey, that's our folks. Whiskey. Our whiskey, bodegacatwhiskey.com. I will be at uh, Tacoma, Spokane, Oklahoma City. Uh, and then uh, bigger tour stars New Orleans, Austin, Tulsa, Dallas, St. Louis. Uh, the I Will Never Meet a Woman tour. Uh, <laughs> Las Vegas. He's bringing Vancouver, his Pepto, ladies. <laughs> Seattle, Portland, Salt Lake, Atlantic City, this Royal Oak. This is quite a tour. Minneapolis, Madison, Milwaukee, New Haven, Boston. It's like you just had a newborn. <laughs> <laughs> Miami, Orlando, Jacksonville, Atlanta, Charleston, Durham, Charlottesville, Norfolk, D.C., Wilkes Bar, and Port Chester, and we'll Holy add more soon. Holy shit, that's a lot dot com slash shows. Loving it. Hey, we're in Buffalo. We're at Cobb's Comedy Club. We're at the Wilbur. We're at Zany's. We're at uh, the Blue Note in Hawaii. And then I got to f- update my website because my, uh, uh, my website person's a pothead. But Mark we'll get Norman on it. Comedy.com. Oh, yeah. I'm in Miami. I'm coming everywhere. It's going to be fun. It'll be a good time. Can't wait. Praise Allah. Uh, love you, Beard Jew. What do you got to promote, buddy? All I got to promote right now is uh, I'm at Say Less right now and uh, Paper Plane NYC for yes. all your hospitality needs. Are you like a traveling bartender? I'm a uh, bartender and bar consultant, so I can help you build your bars. Come hit me up. That's yeah. by, the, by the way, speaking of bars and liquor, 
Specs in Specs. Texas. Over 200 liquor stores carrying Bodega Cat right now. Just legalized in Texas. It's moving. Yep. Bodega Cat spreading. I think by the end of December, this shit's going to be legal in New York City. And hopefully Ooh. you can drink it at the Comedy Cellar very soon. It's going to be everywhere. And uh, shout out to Gotham Studios, Matt Peters, uh, for everything. We fucking love you. Uh, Akoi, everybody here. Salacuse, the whole gang, the Natasha. Best. Natasha, Thanks for coming in. Best. Get her book. We love you. And uh, all right, we'll see you guys very soon. Comedy. Sunday's the day for my next defender. A bit of Kiva Recky.